Here are the best settings you can change for a faster PC and more FPS in any game. For Minecraft specifically, I also have more videos on in-game and launcher settings. These videos are linked in the info card. But now let's start. The first thing I want you to do is create a restore point. So just type in restore point. There might be more than one available drive, just choose the one that says system, click on configure, max usage, you can like, I don't know, turn it to 7% or something. Then turn on the system protection and click on apply. Click on OK and then also click on Create right here. You can call this literally anything and we're doing this just so that if any of the settings don't work for you, you can just go back to this restore point and you'll have your old settings back. After that's done, you can just close it down. Now open up your settings and go to the About section. Go to Advanced System Settings, then Performance Settings. In the Performance option, it's usually on Let Windows Decide What's Best for My Computer. There's lots of stuff you can like uncheck and check down here. I would just click on Adjust for Best Performance and then there might be things that you don't like. For example, if I drag this window, it doesn't show like the preview of the window. But honestly, if you want to have maximum results, then just choose this option. Next up, go to Edit Power Plan. Go to the Advanced Power Settings. And here you can also change some stuff. So you're probably unbalanced right now. You should probably go onto High Performance. I also have the Hone Ultimate Power Plan. Don't worry about that. You probably don't have that. Just choose this High Performance one. And then under Processor Power Management, go to Minimum and set this to 100 and the maximum also to 100. This just means that your processor is always used to its fullest potential and therefore it will work better. Again, click on apply and click on okay. Now type in notifications and turn those off. Go to focus assist, turn that off as well. If you're using notifications, obviously don't do this, but I use Windows since many, many years and I've never used any of those. For me, it's just smart to turn those off because if you get a notification in game, that obviously has to be loaded, so. Also, since you're probably on a laptop or a PC, you can also go to tablet mode and just change this to never use tablet mode. Now you can press Control, Shift and Escape to open up the task manager. Alternatively, you can also press Control, Alt, Delete and then go into the task manager. Or you can right click on this down here and click on the task manager. Anyways, you'll end up in this task manager and you should go to startup. Here you can see all of the stuff that automatically loads up when you start your PC. So for example, Teams is always on, uh, on enabled. So anything that's enabled and you don't need it, just right click it and click on disable. For example, Google Drive, I installed that like a week ago and I noticed that I don't really use it all the time. So I'll just disable this too. If you have a Logitech mouse like I do, you should probably keep uh, the LG hub enabled or else your mouse is not gonna work as good. Now type in game mode and we'll get to the game mode settings. So here we have the Xbox game bar. We don't need that. If you actively use the Xbox features, you can sure turn those on, but most of the times you're not gonna use them and you can just turn everything off in here. This gamer thing is actually pretty important now. So if you have an Nvidia graphics card, you should probably turn this on because this helps your PC a lot. If you have AMD, you might want to turn it off. It depends on the PC, but for me, off is better. You should just try both settings if you have AMD. And here it's already telling us related settings, graphics settings, so let's go to there. And then click here onto desktop app. And then you can browse for apps to set a high preference. So for example, I'm using the Feather client with uh, this Java thingy. It's Java 8 and Java 17. So I can click on browse and then search for any exe file on my computer. And this file that you add will then have a higher priority and gets loaded faster. Storage settings. Turn on storage sense and also configure it. And here you can set it to every week, for example. It cleaned up five gigabytes in the space of the last month and I have it on since one week. So you can just click on remove temporary files that my apps aren't using. You can also clear your downloads folder if you want to, but I'd rather do that manually. And you can also free up space now. The less files you have on your computer, the faster it runs. It's just how it works. Now let's go into the system configurations. In here, go to boot. And then here you probably have your Windows 10 thingy. Go to advanced options. And then in the number of processors, you have to click this, you should just choose the maximum processors. It basically just changes how fast your PC can load up. So for, for example, for me, it was set to two, meaning that I can now like let it run six times as, as fast when I'm loading up my PC. So just click on okay after that. Also check the no GUI boot settings and then the timeout. So this one is kind of tricky. It's probably set to 30 for you right now. It's pretty safe to set it down to 25. And for me, 20 works because my PC is somewhat decent. If you have like a really, really strong PC, you can set this to 10 seconds and your startup of the PC will be so much faster. But if you set it too low, you might run into problems. So for me, 20 is like kind of the sweet spot. You can test it out if you want to. 
but that's that, so click on OK. Oh, it'll also ask you to restart, which I'm not gonna do now. By the way, if you're enjoying the speed of this video so far, please leave a like and also subscribe if you want to. That would help me out a lot, thanks. Oh, one thing if you use Chrome, which I don't anymore because of this, um, if you close Chrome down, it'll go into this pop-up thingy right here. Then you can just right-click on Chrome. Okay, this is not Chrome, this is uh, Google Drive. And then just click on Exit, then it'll close down. Same thing goes for Discord and also TeamViewer. I don't know why that's loaded. Anything that's running in the background is not that great for performance. Also Microsoft Teams does this a lot. And in your task manager, you can also scroll down and see what stuff is running in the background. So for example, my uh, Logitech hub, that makes sense. Okay, it's actually working pretty well so far. The Groove Music, for example, I don't need that right now, so I can just close that down and task, there we go. I usually don't recommend downloading stuff for performance because usually it just makes it worse. There's one thing I can recommend you to get. It's called ISLC. And basically what it does, it, it clears up the RAM that's not being used on your PC. I'll probably provide a download link in the description. And once you have it opened up, it'll tell you your totem system memory, how much free memory it has, and how much is standby. Now there are two fields. Just keep this first one as, as it is. And in the second one, just do the half of your total available system memory. So for me, it's around 16,000 megabytes, and the half of that would be 8,000. Also click on auto start monitoring so it always loads up when your PC loads up. Turn on custom timer resolution and put it on 0.5. If you have a super strong PC, put this to 500. If you don't, choose it to 1000 and then just click on start. Now that was all I have for you. If you need anything for Minecraft specifically, there will be a playlist on the end screen right here, along with maybe some individual videos. Just go to check them out because they're really, really helpful. Windows optimization is great and all, but in game you can change a lot more. Again, please leave a like if this helped, and if you have any FPS increase, why not comment it down below? Right, see ya!